Hey guys, so I'm going to be talking about these two cards uh, very quickly. Um, Den Protector and Collected Company. So, when I opened the fat pack, so that fat pack, Dragons of Tarkir, was an interesting fat pack. Uh, when I opened it, it was a foil Lord Ujute, or Ujitai, whatever you pronounce it. And then when I opened these two cards, and when I, at the time I opened it, I knew Den Protector was worth a little bit of money. But definitely collecting company was worth no money. And if you go watch those videos, you clearly like understand that like even when I was making the recap video, which was the same day by the way, I had no idea what these cards were worth. Like I just did not know what these two cards were worth. And now they are worth quite a bit more. And it, com it comes down to the fact that they are being played in standard. So unless you are a professional Magic player, you probably are not good enough to tell me what card is played in standard. I can the best example I have is when the MTG Finance people felt Seance was going to be like the best card ever in standard. I mean, they're still supporting Seance by buying the card and by, by paying people to buy the card to burn the card. I mean, what other card could you say that about? Like, why? Why? Anyway. Seance might look good to a non-professional Magic player, but to like a Magic player, I don't feel like it would ever look good. Maybe to Travis Wu, who I love to death, and I really enjoy Travis Wu, Wu's decks. It's just that like I don't know if they're like good all the time. They're very creative, but that's different from being like a tier one deck that can dominate. Collected Company and Den Protector, on the other hand, I don't feel like many people saw that coming. But the meta changes so much that. They can be good cards. Not only good cards, it can be $10 cards for a collected company. Imagine that, $10. That is uh, a price I would never have imagined a collected company to be at. And it's not because I'm not like good at like guessing prices in Magic. I've guessed plenty of prices in the past and have been very well. I've done very well for myself. But collected company would be, I mean, I cannot see it. Like. I still cannot imagine this card is ten dollars. Like you tell me it's ten dollars right now, all I can think about is yes, I understand it's played in that deck. Yes, I understand it's very good in that deck, but no, I I don't feel like it is actually a ten dollar card because Rhino Seeds Rhino is not a ten dollar card. I don't feel like it ever was a ten dollar card, and that card is played in modern. That card is played as a four of and still even after the birthing pod ban. But even during the birthing pod ban, when it was dominating, I mean it's still good and it's not ten dollars. So how is collected company ten dollars? Meta. The meta games. <laughs> so yeah, that I mean I'm no complaints here. I do have a my playset of collected company. I'm gonna go ahead and be very humble to you guys and say that no way I could have saw these two coming. Like it just, you know, like a lot of these speculations I've made in the past like were very obvious to me. But then there's been some speculations where like I could see it happening. These two I just couldn't even. This is the second video I'm making about this, and that's how baffled I am that the collected company is ten dollars. Um, and people will list, you know, comment below like all these good reasons why it's ten dollars. But like I still won't get it. And that's okay. I mean, that's absolutely okay uh, because there will be cards I get, um, but Collected Company will not be one of them. Bye, guys.